Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to geo-reference an image to GIS data. In my table of contents I have a GIS layer for the counties of Ohio that I got from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources online. And I also have this uh, generic upper Arlington, Ohio uh, PNG file. I have no idea what they are mapping, but I uh, just wanted a county map with generic information just to show you how to geo-reference an image, whether it be a ping, whether it be a TIFF, a GIF, a JPEG. Um, you can use any type of image to geo-reference to your GIS uh, data. A uh, perfect example of using this is like an aerial photo uh, of a city or some area that you can see the streets and you have a street uh, centerline file. You can use the intersections of the street and geo-reference that photo to that street data. In this particular case, we're only going to deal with Franklin County, uh, something simple. This is a very simple tutorial. Uh, we are not going to rectify but uh, and save this, the, Im the image to that file. This is just a, a real simplification of geo-referencing. In order to geo-reference, you have to have the geo-referencing tool, toolbar, so just basically right click any place go down to geo referencing make sure that check mark is on so here I have a map of Ohio counties and I'm at that extent um, to show you the image that we're gonna geo reference I'll zoom to the layer of the image and it's just a Franklin County and like I said I have no idea what they're mapping I can't even read the words but um, we're going to reference this uh, ping file to that GIS data. To show you that they are not together already, I'll go full extents. Notice we see our counties, but somewhere around here is our image, but we can't see it because it's so small. It just doesn't show up the same scale as this map. So we'll zoom into uh, our Ohio layer and we will zoom in to Franklin County, Ohio, which is the Columbus area. Now, to start geo-referencing, it's really simple. Over here in the geo-referencing toolbox, you'll see a pull-down uh, list of images that you might have in your project. Of course, I only have the one. And you select the image that you want to geo-reference here. Then, we're going to go to the geo-referencing and tell it to fit to the display. That brings the image to the extents that I'm zoomed in. Okay. So basically it kind of enlarges the image just to fit on your screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some control points from the corners of the image to the corners of the real geography of that location. That didn't make any sense, but you get the picture. We're going to add some control points, and as we add them, it's going to move the image, and it's going to stretch or compress the image into that space. All right? So we come up here to our control points uh, tool on the geo-referencing toolbox, and I basically come to the image in this upper left-hand corner I'm going to start with, and I'm going to click here and I'm going to click, my second click is going to be the actual location of that intersection. So you notice that it moved the, uh, the ping down to this point already. All right, now I'll, you notice that it's, it's just moved it. It didn't stretch it, it didn't change the size to match the real geography. So I'm going to come down to this lower left-hand corner and my clicking isn't going to be perfect. It's just so you can get an idea of how this works. So I'm going to come down to the southwest corner of Franklin County, click on the image, and 
then I'm going to find the same intersection in my GIS data which is right here and I'm going to click there notice how it changed the size it did a pretty good job just with these two clicks um, most likely that a, this image was created by uh, almost the same data that I'm using as my county boundary okay now I want to kind of fine-tune it a little bit so I'm going to zoom into this corner here and we're just a little bit off not that much so I'm going to here's my intersection of my image this gray area and I think it's about right here okay and I'm gonna match it with the actual corner so it kind of moves it over a little bit and then I'm gonna do zoom previous now these two locations will not move when I did this one because these are locked in but you look and we have a pretty darn pretty darn good fit with that uh, that ping file fitting our GIS data now the uses is once you get an image uh, geo referenced you can go in and you can digitize you know this area that maybe you wanted in your GIS uh, data sets but you can heads up digitize all these locations and put them into your GIS data now the next step of what you would do after you add control points to get this map even tighter and better is you would go up, come up to the geo referencing tools and you would rectify it and that would save it would save your control points with the image so the next time you bring that image into a geo database I'm not geo database but a uh, uh, project it will automatically be pre-registered to the data layer that you're working with hopefully it's the same data layer that you're working uh, to begin with all right that is it that is a quick and dirty look at geo referencing you can try this on your own with aerial photos something that you have some geography and um, yeah that's geo referencing in a really quick nutshell and Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.